Hello dear children, I am Alka Jolly, your English teacher. In my previous video, I had explained lesson 6, I love my baby from your English reader book. Those who have not watched that video, I have given the link of the video in the description. You can click the link and you can watch the video in, under, in order to understand the lesson thoroughly because it's very important to understand the lesson before you start doing your back exercises and the question answers of this lesson. So in this video, I'm going to explain all the back exercises and all the question answers. So let us begin with the exercises. Exercise A and B are about question answers that I have explained uh, in the later part of the video. So first, I would like to begin with exercise D. So in order to do any exercise, it's very important to read the question carefully and to understand the question carefully. So let us uh, uh, start reading the question. A baby bear is called a cup. A baby amadillo is called a pup. Can you guess the name of the babies of these animals? Choose the correct names from the box and write them under the pictures. So this exercise is all about the animals and their babies. So here the picture is given of the animals and the names of the babies is written in this box. You have to match the names of the babies with the pictures of the animals. So the first picture is of spider and the baby of the spider is called spider link. Here it is rabbit. The baby of the rabbit is kitten. Here it is. The next one is the picture of dog. The baby of the dog is called puppy. The picture of horse and the baby of the horse is called Ford. Next is the picture of kangaroo and the baby of kangaroo is called Joey. Here it is the picture of goose and the baby of goose is called Gosling. This is the picture of deer and the baby of deer is called Fawn. Here it is goat. The baby of goat is called Kid. So this was all about the animals and the names of their babies. In the description also, it is given the baby of bear is called cub and the baby of armadillo is called a pup. Now let us move to the next exercise. Here some explanation has been given. Let us read it. The word here means to be aware of sounds in your ears while listen means to pay attention to somebody or something that you can hear. So here the difference between the use of hear and the use of listen is given. We use hear for sounds that come to our ears without us necessarily trying to hear them. We don't put effort to hear anything. We don't pay attention to hear anything. It goes into our ears automatically. For example, did you hear the bird sing or they heard a strange noise in the middle of the night. Then listen is used to describe paying attention to sounds that are going on. Means the word listen is used when we have to pay attention to somebody or something in order to understand something. Like for example, if you listen carefully, you will understand the question. One more example I can give you, like while now I am speaking, I am describing the difference between the use of hear and the use of listen. You have to pay attention to understand it. So in this case, you, you are listening to me, means you are paying attention to me. So that is the difference between hear and listen. Now let us begin with the exercise. Fill in the blanks with listen or here. The first one is 
Hello Seema, can you dash my voice clearly? Hello Seema, can you hear my voice clearly? Second, dash I want to tell you something. Listen, I want to tell you something. Third, do you like to dash to music? Do you like to listen to music? Fourth, children, please dash to your children to your teacher carefully. Children, please listen to your teacher carefully. Sorry, I didn't dash the doorbell. Sorry, I didn't hear the doorbell. The next one is, can you speak a little louder? I can't dash you. Can you speak a little louder? I can't hear you. Dash to what your father tells you about honesty. Listen to what your father tells you about honesty. Last, can you, can you dash the baby laughing? Can you hear the baby laughing? So, one more thing you can see here that after listen, preposition to is used everywhere. So, Two preposition is followed by the word listen. Wherever you will use listen, two preposition will be used along with the word listen. Some exceptional cases are there like here number two, two preposition is not used. But everywhere else, two preposition is used after listen. So what is, I am going to read the sentences again. Hello Seema, can you hear my voice clearly? Listen, I want to tell you something. Do you like to listen to music? Children, please listen to your teacher carefully. Sorry, I didn't hear the doorbell. Can you speak a little louder? I can't hear you. Listen to what your father tells you about honesty. Can you hear the baby laughing? So now I hope all of you would have understood the difference where to use hear and where to use listen. Okay, now let us move to grammar fun. So this exercise G is about adjectives. Let us read this explanation. Words which describe nouns are called describing words or adjectives. Words that tell us about the color or number of things are also called adjectives. Children, in order to understand what are adjectives, you must know what are nouns. Because words which describes noun. So, the words that describe nouns are called describing words. So, if you won't know what are nouns, how would you be able to understand adjectives? So, what are nouns? Nouns are the naming words. The name of any place, any person, anything, any bird, any animal is called noun. So, the words that describe nouns, they are called adjectives. And that is why, because they describe nouns, that is the reason they are called describing words also. So, for example, the curbs run out into the warm sunshine. With sunshine, warm sunshine. So here warm is the adjective. Anya's skirt was as white as snow. Here white is adjective. Opossums stay in their mother's pouch for 8 weeks. Here 8, the number is adjective. So let us do the exercise. Underline the adjectives in these sentences. The water of the river was cold. Here, cold is adjective because it is describing water. Water is noun here. Cold word is describing water. So, cold is adjective. Mama beaver is a good mother. What kind of mother? Good mother. Good word is describing mother. Mama beaver. So, here good is adjective. An armadillo has four babies at a time. How many babies? Four babies. The number is given. So, this number is adjective. Four is adjective. Elephants have a long childhood. What kind of childhood? Long childhood. So, long word is describing the noun childhood. So, here long is adjective.
the fifth sentence is a car has four wheels how many wheels four here four is describing the noun wheels so four is adjective here kalimpong is a beautiful city what kind of city beautiful so beautiful word is describing the city a sunflower is yellow what is the color of sunflower yellow so yellow is adjective here december has 31 days how many days december has 31 days so 31 is describing the days of december so 31 is adjective here exercise h is also about adjectives fill in the blanks with the correct adjectives from the brackets now two adjectives are given in the bracket so you have to choose the correct adjective my grandmother is very dash so grandmother can't be long my grandmother is very clever second one is the water in the pot is dash water can't be funny so it is cold the water in the pot is cold a crow cannot be dash in the bracket black and green are given so all of you know that crow cannot be green it is always black so the answer is green pali's clothes got dash in the rain two adjectives are given dry and wet so pali's clothes get wet in the rain so now let us do the word meanings of this lesson the first one is reared in a nursery it means cared for in a protected place the second one is supple plates the meaning is scales which make movement easy the next one is dome shaped hut and the meaning is hut with a rounded roof fourth one is noet no it means bite or chew fifth one is plaster them and the meaning of plaster them is cover them i hope all of you would have understood the meanings as i had explained all these meanings thoroughly when i explained the lesson let us do the exercise a read these sentences and answer the questions Let us read the sentence number one. The armadillo is a strange little animal that looks like something out of a story book. This is the first question. What makes an armadillo look like a strange little animal? Now there are three questions based on this sentence. The answers are based on this sentence. The first question is, what makes an armadillo? look like a strange little animal the answer is an armadillo wears a coat made of hard but supple plates which makes it look like a strange little animal question number 2 what does an armadillo do when it is in danger an armadillo rolls up into a ball when it is in danger Next question how many babies does an armadillo mother have at one time an armadillo mother has four babies at one time now let us move to sentence number 2 the babies are born in a dome shaped hut in a river bank or by a stream so the question is to which babies does the above sentence refer the above sentence refers to the babies of a beaver next question when the babies are older the three things does their mother teach them to do in the river what three things does their mother teach them to do in the river let us read the question again when the babies are older what three things does their mother teach them to do in the river when the babies are older their mother teaches them 
to swim, to catch fish and to build dams in the river. Next question. How do they build a dam? Describe in your own words. Answer. The beavers build a dam by gnawing at the trees and cutting them up into logs. Then they roll the logs into the river and fill the gaps with stones and mud. Now let us move to exercise C. Answer these questions. These are a bit longer ans question answers. Let us read question number one. Where does Mama Polar Bear have her cups? Answer. Mama Polar Bear has her cups in an ice cave. Question number two. Name two things that an armadillo eats. An armadillo eats insects and plants. Question number three. Name two animals that carry their young in a pouch. The two animals that carry their young in a pouch are kangaroo and opossum. Question number four. Describe a newborn opossum. A newborn opossum is very tiny, has no hair and it cannot see. Tiny means very small. So that is the end of question answers. So here I have written the definition of adjective. Adjectives I have already explained you. So you can see the definition of adjective. Words which describe nouns are called describing words or adjectives. For example, cold, good, six, blue, long, extra. All these are examples of adjective. So, this is the end of all the exercises as well as the question answers of lesson six, I love my baby. And again, I would like to remind you that those who have not watched video, part one video of lesson six, I love my baby, in which I have explained the lesson thoroughly, you can click the link given in the description to watch the video because it's very important to understand the lesson first before you start doing the back exercises and the question answers. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be soon back with another lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.